Shield Device Utopia. Hello everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. We're going to take you through the process of routing a Shield Android TV 2015 16 gigabytes edition. A few things that we're going to assume. We're going to assume that you have a mouse plugged into your Shield Android TV. We're going to assume that you have the Shield Android TV plugged into your computer through a micro USB cable. We're also going to assume that your Shield drivers to see the unit under Windows are all set up and that you've unlocked the bootloader. Okay. If you need help on any of those things, use our tutorial over at NVIDIAShieldZone.com. Use the Start Wizard and then navigate yourself to the correct routing tutorial and you'll find out how to unlock your bootloader and set up all the drivers. But if you're at that point and the drivers are all working and you can see the Shield TV from Windows, uh, you're probably in pretty good shape. So make sure you're all plugged in and ready to go and we will get started. This is Shield Android TV 5.2. As you can see, there's nothing in here that wasn't stock. It is not rooted. It is nice and fresh. So what we need to do is we need to go down to Settings and About. And down to Build. And start tapping Build. And it, you may have to tap it seven times. I've already unlocked this part of it. but. Um, Tap it seven, eight times, and it will say you are now a developer. And you know that you're good if you scroll down here under settings and it says developer options. Make sure that you have, it'll, USB debugging will be off by default. Make sure you turn that on. All right. And just to show you what you might see, I'm going to revoke all the, per, the previous permissions I had. All right. We're going to turn that off and back on again. All right. My computer's trying to reach out and connect with it. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say allow, always allow, and we're good. Now your computer can access the Shield Android TV through the ADB and fast boot commands. All right. So let's get a DOS box up here, minimal ADB. I'll go ahead and run that. All right, get that where you guys can see it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that we have twerp, which I do. Got several versions of twerp actually. We're looking for 3111 Foster, IMG. I have the zip file in here too. You don't wanna try to push the zip file over, it won't work. We're also gonna check for Super SU, which I know I have in here as well. Great. So let's reboot the Shield Android TV into the bootloader. So we're going to type ADB, reboot, bootloader. And you'll see in behind we lose the signal to the uh, Shield TV because it is rebooting. And just so you guys can get a good look there, we are in the bootloader mode. We don't need to touch anything, we can just leave it right there. Next up. We are going to boot to twerp. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this file name here. This foster. All right. Fast boot, boot. And go. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, hide that. All right. So NVIDIA, uh, the Shield Android TV is rebooting. The NVIDIA logo is prominently displayed. And we are into twerp. Using the mouse, it'll take a moment or two for the mouse to uh, to be detected and usable in twerp. We're going to go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. All right, we're going to use ADB side load. That's under advance. And ADB side load. Now, ADB sideload uses a different type of a driver. So even if you've gotten to fast boot before and you can see your shield, if you've used ADB and you can see your shield, when you go to ADB sideload, it may generate another driver request and you'll need to connect with that. Most people don't seem to have a problem with this though. And we're going to swipe to sideload. And so it's in sideload mode. All right, I am going to bring the DOS box back up. 
I'm going to capture the file name for super su. Oops, wrong thing. That's what I get. All right, super su. Too many screens that look the same. In this case, we do want the zip file. And we are going to do adb sideload. We'll paste our thing. Off it goes. All right, so it says it's serving. So let's flip back over to our screen. And you can see that um, Super uh, SU is indeed installing. All right, we'll use our mouse to select Reboot System. And we do not want to install Twerp. So we'll say Do Not Install. All right. We've lost the signal to the Shield Android TV as it reboots. Now, the Shield will boot, reboot by itself at least once. I've seen it twice happen before, depending on what maybe you have installed um, already. But on a nice, fresh machine like this, we'll get one reboot during the first booting process, and that's normal. So a lot of people have problems um, accessing their Shield Android TV on their PC. A lot of times it's drivers, but most people are fairly comfortable with drivers. Uh, truth be told, as the tagline of our website says, um, if you've got a problem, it's probably your USB cable. We all have a plethora of USB cables, micro USB cables laying around. Unfortunately, many of them come from external batteries. Uh, or things of that nature and quite frankly they're just not really certified to carry data and a lot of people have problems with that so change the USB cable change the USB ports not all ports are created equal if you have trouble make sure you're using a port on the back of the PC make sure you're using a good quality data cable all right so we're back online here all right so what, what's what's changed what's going on here well we now have Super SU. Now, the first time you run it, it's going to go kind of wonky because it was kind of originally made for a phone. So we're going to run it for the first time, and you're going to get this weird thing. You do have to use a mouse for this, but it's a one-time deal. I'm just going to say expert mode, and that's it. Now you're good. I don't want to follow anybody. There we go. So Super SU is good. Now let's prove it. Let's get a Super SU or a root app that can prove that we're actually rooted. So I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. I'm going to find my fi favorite file manager, Explore File Manager. All right, I love this file manager. Forget those other ones. This is it. This guy, of course, does have some root capabilities, so we'll know right away whether it works or not. All right. It's terrible colors. It's a dark theme. Just go into configuration. Make here. I'm going to help you guys out because that's just it's just not it's not pleasant. Make sure that it's also says super user. That's another little thing you can do. There's that dark theme. There we go. Oh my goodness. Ah, so much better. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is just try to access root. Super user request. We grant it. And we have access to root. So now you can do all those nefarious things you couldn't do without having root access. And folks, that's really it. Um, if for whatever reason you need to get rid of super SU, uh, or super user or rooting uh, say you get an uh, over-the-air update that doesn't work something of that nature and you need to get rid of super su simply follow uh, our instructions for doing a stock recovery to 5.2 that will not lose any of the things you already have installed but it will reset the the um, boot partition and things like that that were altered to give you super uh, su or root access um, but uh, yeah, that's the only real way to, to reliably do it to make sure that you get the over-the-air updates. Most of the over-the-air updates have been very, very easy. They simply wipe out root when they install, and then you just have to go back in and reroute it. Uh, but in some cases, you do have to do a stock recovery. And again, that does not remove your user data. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy your new rooted Shield Android TV 2015 edition. Remember, in VideoShieldZone.com, we've got all the goods. We've got tutorials, news, training, everything you need to use your Shield device. Uh, we cover Shield tablet, Shield portable, all Shield Android TVs. So.
come on over to NVIDIAShieldZone.com. Of course, like the video, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, we're on Google+. Plus. Um, join us. This is Shane R. Monroe, NVIDIA Shield Zone. Thanks for watching.